He is known for his long and successful career at St. Mark's, starting as an alto singer and eventually becoming maestro di cappella. He is recognized for his contribution to sacred music and for his role in changing the musical texture and style at the Scuola dello Spirito Santo. His name is Antonio Lotti. In the world of music, there are legends who leave an indelible mark on the field. One such legend is Antonio Lotti, a renowned composer and maestro di cappella. His career began at St. Mark's, where he started as an alto singer and gradually worked his way up to become the maestro di cappella, a position he held until his death. While there have been some misconceptions about Lottie's biography in the past, recent studies have shed light on the truth. Older reference books relied on oral tradition to attribute works to Lottie that he supposedly composed for the Ospedale Dagel in Curabili. However, thorough research has shown that there is no evidence of Lottie's employment at the Incurabili or any compositions created for that institution. Despite this, Lottie's contributions to the musical world cannot be overlooked. He was a notable teacher, with pupils like Domenico Alberti, Benedetto Marcello, and Giovanni Battista Passetti. His impact on the Venetian music scene extended beyond St. Mark's, as he was also employed at the Scuola dello Spirito Santo, where he introduced a new musical texture and style to the sacred music performed there. In 1717, Lottie was granted leave to go to Dresden, further expanding his musical horizons. His legacy as a composer and teacher continues to inspire generations of musicians, making Antonio Lotti a true legend in the world of music. In the early 18th century, Antonio Lotti, a renowned composer, found himself in the vibrant city of Dresden, serving as a court musician for Friedrich Augustus I, the Elector of Saxony. Lotti had been specifically hired by the king to compose music for an Italian opera troupe that he had assembled. However, the electorate took great measures to keep the visiting Italians separate from the resident chapel musicians, particularly Kapellmeister Johann Christoph Schmidt. Amidst this delicate situation, the king went to great lengths to ensure harmony within the orchestra, authorizing appointments with the condition that they would not disrupt the existing musicians. The electoral prince even had to declare his protection for the Italians in a letter, assuring them that they would be shielded from any ill will. The king himself promised to provide them with the utmost protection, emphasizing that the existing musicians should have no interference with them. During his time in Dresden, Lottie not only composed sacred music but also ventured into the world of opera. He created notable works such as Giovin Argo, Tiafane, and Le Quattro Elementi. These operas showcased Lottie's exceptional talent and versatility as a composer. Additionally, he had already composed various other works in Venice, including Giustino, Achille Piccato, and Tuzon, to name just a few. Lottie's time in Dresden allowed him to showcase his musical prowess and expand his repertoire. Despite the challenges of navigating the delicate dynamics between the Italian and resident musicians, Lottie's compositions for both sacred and operatic settings left a lasting impression on the Dresden court and further solidified his reputation as a distinguished composer. Do you want to explore more composers? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.